Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Cryoblation is a breakthrough technology that uses extreme cold and small needles to destroy tissue, such as common breast lumps. Some of the best hospitals and research institutions in the country use it, so could it be right for you? Dr. Jody Brame is a breast surgeon with Wheaton Franciscan Healthcare. She's part of a comprehensive team that often uses minimally invasive technology. Great to see you this Thank morning. Thank you. Thank Thanks you for, for having me. Here. And I think this is exciting for anybody who has to have a procedure like this to consider whether or not they might be a candidate for it. So I'm going to try to pronounce this word. It's fibroadenoma? Correct. So okay. A fibroadenoma is a benign breast lump. Um, they're more common in women in their 20s and 30s, but it can happen at any decade of life. Are uh, they often precancerous? No, these are not cancerous. These okay. are benign. Okay, so absolutely benign when we use this word. And this new treatment that is available to, to um, get rid of them, or does it destroy the tissue, or what does it do, the cryoblation? Sure, so this is really exciting treatment because before a woman, once she had a biopsy that proved she had a fibroadenoma, either had to just observe it, or she had to undergo surgery, which obviously none of us are eager to do. So mm -hmm. cryoblation now uses, uh, it's a, an office-based procedure using a local anesthetic, where we use super cold to freeze the tumor. Um, and then um, once we've completed the procedure, a woman gets up and goes about the rest of her day. No downtime, minimal pain, no cosmetic change. It's fantastic. What happens when that tumor inside the, the breast is frozen? Does it, does it dissolve? So basically the tumor is frozen to such a degree that the cells um, slowly fall apart and then the body slowly resorbs it over time. So all a very natural procedure. How long generally does it take? Um, most uh, treatments take between five and ten minutes. Uh, wow. The most probably about fifteen, which is fantastic. It takes me at least a, you know thirty minutes to an hour to get one of those out in the operating room. So marked difference. That's incredible. So let's say someone goes in for a mammogram. Is that most often how something like this is detected early? Typically, these present uh, as a breast lump because usually women in their twenties and thirties aren't getting mammograms, so that usually presents as a palpable lump that they notice and bring to the attention of their primary care physician. And how do you know that it's benign? Because by definition. It, it, it is not cancerous. Correct. So anytime um, we, we have someone that presents with a lump and we're able to see it on, on ultrasound, oftentimes we'll recommend a biopsy to just prove that it is benign. We, we like to prove ourselves right. Absolutely. I totally get that. Um, how, how would someone know? I mean, obviously this would be in consultation with their doctor, but how would they know if cryoblation is right for them and their particular situation? Certainly. Well, as, as I mentioned, we always want to have a biopsy before to prove that it is truly a fibroadenoma and that it's benign. And then typically if the fibroadenoma is less than four centimeters, they're a candidate. So if they are interested, you know, they can talk to their doctor or certainly, you know, they can give our office a call. We're happy to see them and go through things and, and talk with them about whether it would work well for them or not. It's so it's so exciting to talk about minimally invasive procedures because Number one for the patient, the recovery time is so much shorter um, and it, it's so much easier to tolerate than going into surgery. Absolutely. This is a, a very efficacious, fast, comfortable procedure. It can be done in the office. And again, you know, you're up and running right after that. There's really no restrictions afterwards. In surgery, you're out of work for a couple of days. You've got a scar on your breast. Um, you know, the, the procedure itself takes about an hour and, you know, it's, it's inconvenient and, and there's discomfort. So this is a great option that I'm really excited that we're able to bring to Wisconsin. And how often are you doing this, this particular type of procedure on breast lumps? So, well, this is the first that we've had in Wisconsin. So right now, truly, it's whenever we are presented with someone with a fibroadenoma, it's one of the options that I talk to women about. Um, and um, I'm, I'm really excited to, to be able to bring this to, to uh, the area. If someone has a, a fibroadenoma, is it, is it likely that they'll have more? Do, do some people just tend to have more of them than others? Certainly, some people get multiple fibroadenomas. Some people get one and never get another in their lifetime. There's nothing that you can do to prevent them, unfortunately. It's just who you are. So that's another plus with this procedure is I've had women with multiple fibroadenomas, and rather than having four or five scars on their breast, they have a little tiny three millimeter skin nick and the, the fibroadenoma is gone. And, and not that you're using it for other reasons, but the exciting thing about this technology is that it is used to treat so many other types of, of tissues or, or problems. Absolutely. This is not a new technology necessary. It's, it's a bit of a newer way to use it, but this is being used um, you know, frequently throughout the medical field. So this is just exciting for me as a breast surgeon being able to get involved with some of that minimally invasive uh, procedure. Is this something that people should ask about if they're told that they, if, if a, a doctor says to them it's 
not cancer. You do have a breast lump. There's there's something that we want to do to treat it. Um, is it something that, you know, if the doctor says, well, you should wait on this and see what happens, is it appropriate, do you think, for a patient to say, hey, could I try cryoblation? Absolutely. I think that, you know, before we only had two options, a woman could either just do observation, which, you know, leads to some anxiety and no one wants to have a palpable lump in their breast, or they had the option of surgery, which is, again, costly, inconvenient, and could lead to a, a deformity of the breast. So this is a wonderful, quick option to, to take care of this. I think it's it's a widely available option as far as, you know, there's minimal uh, restrictions on who couldn't have it done. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I highly recommend it. I have three little girls. If they ever get one of these in the future, this is what I'm going to tell them they need to do. Mm, it's wonderful. Great to meet you, doctor. Thank you so much. And here's the information. If you'd like to find out more about the work that Dr. Jody Brame does or the work that her team of breast surgeons does, you can get in contact with the people at Wheaton Franciscan Healthcare by calling this phone number. They're located in Franklin. It's 414-256-1920. You can also visit this website. It's myweaton.org slash benign breast lump. Thank you so much again. I appreciate it. Thank